Hey y'all, it's Shayla from Making Lemonade from Lemons and today um, it's after Christmas and I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that um, is going on in my little garden area. I've shown you guys a lot of the things that are going well. So I'm going to show you today some of the things that are not going so well. But it's a learning process so I'm be happy about what I've learned. Um, I just know that I need to do things differently. Okay, so here you can see that I have a few um, a few seeds that have germinated, but you see there's actually a lot um, of things that tried to germinate and then died. And if you look over here, um, you see some of the things that have um, frost damage on them because what happened was um, just a few days after they germinated it started getting cold again so um, and over here if you look um, these are onion seeds that I had planted and some of them came up and some of them are still growing um, and then some of them came up and then if I can get that some of them came up and then died. So, um, I just have to be more careful in when I plant things. Um, let me show you guys my beets. So, they look really pretty, right? The leaves look great and everything. But look, there's no bulbing. There's, I mean, you see the roots and everything, but there's no bulbing. <clears throat> I'm not sure why all of my beets are that way. This one has a little tiny bit more of a bulb than the others, but none of them are bulbing. <laughs> so, beets. I will beat them. <laughs> um, yeah, these things look great. I'm super happy about um, my mustard greens and stuff like that. So here is my lettuce that I forgot to cover one night and there's still some good leaves and there's some good, you know, but then a lot of it is not so good. So, um, you know, we'll use what we can. I'm not too upset about it. It was my fault. I forgot to cover it. So, that's another thing I need to remember. Um, my par my parsnips look really good. And that is also a bag of onions where I have a couple of onions here and there that are popping up. But for the most part, there's nothing there. <laughs> um, either that or they came up and then got hit with the cold. So, these on the other hand, I forgot to cover them so because I forgot to cover them as you see they're and not just not just that I didn't cover them because they're still growing I mean there's some areas where they're still growing the tent see more tendrils and everything but I mean if I were to put this up as tall as it was it would be taller than me it would be close to six feet maybe so I need higher trellises for my peas, especially the king tut peas, which that's what these are. These are the king tut peas, and they've actually, the king tut peas actually look better than my other peas I'll show you. This one is the um, wando peas, so they look really sad. These are the Alaskan peas. They're looking okay, but, you know, um, I even had blossoms, but the blossoms died because it got hit by the frost. And, um, but the Alaskan ones don't look too bad either. So my king tut peas and my wando peas really look the best. These are Lincoln peas, and they actually look pretty decent. Um, well, a couple of them look decent, and the others don't look so good. 
if you see. So there's a couple of them here that don't look so good. And then let me show you behind me. Um, all right, these were supposed to be watermelon radishes. And this one looks, I mean, it's decent, I guess. I mean, they're really just, they're, they didn't really grow bulbs. See, that's what they look like. So, and it's most of them look absolutely the same. So, and they've been like this. I've just let them keep growing and growing because I was like, well, maybe one day they'll bulb up, but they never did. So, Here's some more onions that I had planted and then something got in them because you can see lots of places like indentations I think something got in them but I do have some onions coming up in there so anyways and then I've got these bunching onions right here so so thanks so much for spending time with me today and hanging out with me while I show you the, some of the things that are not going so well in my garden <laughs> because you know and we can always learn from other people and so if you guys have any suggestions if you have any information about what can help me grow beets what you can help me grow um, watermelon radishes if you guys have ever writ, um, grown those you know give me give me a little bit of information if you have and um, anyways we'll see you soon